Well, hello, everybody. I um, uh, recently had a conversation on Twitter about Dev and Think and kind of just wondering how I use it and why I keep everything in one uh, one large database instead of having multiple databases, even though the new uh, database 2.0 or Dev and Think 2.0 beta allows you to have multiple databases, which you can, uh, you can see here. There's some different databases that I do have, but I have combined uh, that content for now into this one main area. Uh, and you can even search across... Um, different databases. Uh, even if you have, you can have them open at the same time and search across those databases. So, even in regards to search, uh, multiple databases still works. But right now, I currently uh, don't do that. And uh, there's a couple reasons why. Uh, kind of outlining the the areas I have real quick is I have my work area, um, which is a uh, uh, live church and personal projects. Horizons of Focus, which if you know getting things done, um, that's just different levels of perspective on uh, roles and responsibilities, goals, uh, vision, life mission stuff. Uh, we had had some 60-day goals here, so that's a folder I outlined as a specific goal, a specific horizon of focus that I wanted to outline and uh, work on the materials in there. But this is all the working information I have. Then I have my reference information, which again is just uh, reference stuff. Uh, it's just things I want to keep track of. Uh, and then different than reference, are there's some areas I definitely research, um, which is uh, right now ministry content uh, and then social media. Uh, and actually, the social media one is one giant folder of articles. It's not organized any more than social media, and there's almost 800 articles in here. Uh, and so I have my research. Um, I have my reference material, uh, which is kind of basically an archive of projects at some point, as well as just uh, information I want to access, and then my working uh, information area. And the reason I have it all in one database, uh, first reason is when it comes to capture, uh, one thing that's brilliant about Evernote um, and I'm a big Evernote fan, even though I'm not using it right now. Um, but the nice thing about Evernote is you have one place to put it, even if you have uh, multiple notebooks. And so Evernote uses notebooks. DevonThink kind of uses databases. But um, for me, uh, I will like DevonThink better at this point for what I'm using it for. But I want to have it all in one one database um, because of capture. So when I clip something from a website, I don't have to go and select the database that I'm selecting that information into. I can just uh, capture or click away. And it will uh, it'll capture it right in there. And Devon thing does tie right into um, a Mac OS 10. And so in your services menu down here, you'll have Devon Think Pro, and you'll be able to append or take rich and plain notes right from the OS if you're in Safari, and it'll just put it right into your inbox. And uh, what's cool about uh, that from that point on, having all your stuff in one place, is that um, Devon Think has uh, some artificial intelligence stuff going on in it where it finds. I basically call it, it makes a, a social network out of your information, where it basically finds uh, friends of different pieces of content. It makes connections for you that you probably wouldn't have ever have made. Um, and once you get it organized the way you want, it can help you uh, keep it organized. And so um, one example of keeping it organized is that uh, every week for our uh, online experiences, um, John Ochin, our media guy on the Digirati team, sends me a rundown, basically what's going to be happening in the video, and this is for uh, this weekend. And so when I click that, what you see over here, um, and this comes up from this little hat guy. It looks like a hat to me. It's probably not supposed to, it's not probably called the hat, but I call it the hat. Um, and it gives you the groups in the see also area. Now the groups are um, other uh, folders that this, of that like information is in based upon a relevancy score. And so what you see right here with rundown is where all the other rundown notes are. So if I want to organize that, I just click that folder, click move to, and it's organized. Um, real easy. So after you get started into Dev and Think, it becomes really easy to make sure you get things in the right spot. You just put them to that inbox, and then based upon what that information is and where you've organized things before, it'll start to know where you need to put things and give you the top ten list of where it might be. And a lot of times, it's it's that folder, and you can put it right there. Um, the other cool thing is uh, I get a lot of emails uh, asking about um, what we do at LifeChurch.tv. Questions like this one, which are pretty big. Um, and uh, what's cool about, uh, what I could do is I could go Dev through Dev and Think and be searching for some of these things but and trying to find the connections to what I've done and what we do in, um, in all the different folders and stuff. But what's cool with that see also area and with the groups area is I just copy that, the, the body of that email as a new rich, uh, rich uh, uh, document and then I see what connects to it based off of the questions that he, uh, they're asking here. So... I can see here uh, volunteers, communications, our newsletter, Digirati, personal reference. Um, there's some things that may connect with the questions he's asking here, but I can also see some documents here um, that might be connecting with uh, some of the things he wants. And so I can look, oh, here's something in 
social media. You can see that. I can go back to it. Um, you can select a bunch of things at once. So I could select these three and then open in tabs and then have this question and then the other documents right here. And I can kind of look through and help find some answers uh, very quickly based upon the question. So his questions here are kind of the search dynamic that I'm using to find this information because uh, um, because Devin Things is able to find the connections from what he's saying here to potentially where there are answers in the research and things that I've grabbed. And that's what's cool in general about um, about you can clip uh, whole web pages in here and archive them in. So even if you're not online, it'll connect. Uh, but that's also why I keep my working information in the same place as my reference information, in the same place as my research information. It's because by research being here, when I'm working on different materials, like for instance, like uh, you know, outlining notes from a meeting where we need to have certain things accomplished, I can start finding the answers based in my research um, that I've already done on the articles and stuff and finding connections from the questions I'm asking to the answers that people are providing from the things that I've clipped and found valuable. And so it can actually help uh, um, help me plan, help me not only uh, see the opportunities, but actually present the answers to questions I might have or that mothers, others might have. So those are just some of the quick reasons why I like keeping all my information in one database and Devon think I think it's, I barely am touching the surface, um, but I think it's one of the more powerful knowledge management applications out there. It does kind of have a high learning curve and you do have to keep it organized. It does take discipline. That's what's awesome about Evernote is it takes no discipline. Um, so if you want something like this and you want to use Evernote, Evernote can do that. You still have to search, um, but uh, it's way easy. Uh, Devin Think takes some discipline, but I believe it rewards it really well. So that is uh, that's Tony Stewart on the Tony Stewart blog, kind of walking you through how I use Devin Think Pro.